Hi, I'm Mr. Vogt. I'm the band and orchestra director at Draper Park Middle School. I recently discussed practicing with a bunch of different individuals who shared with me some strategies and ways that they've found to help them practice. I recorded their responses and wanted to make a little video showing what these people say about how we can practice so that all of us in our music department can get better at practicing. Here we go. Hi, yes, my name is Jerry. I play the violin. I'm pretty good. The way I get good at playing at the violin is multiple practices. What I do is I chunk it into little pieces. I'll play for about 10 or 15 minutes. And after I've played about 10 or 15 minutes, I'll take a little break and I'll come back for another 10 or 15 minutes. That's what I do to get good. Thanks. Don Trumpet here. My name's Don Trumpet. Uh, what I do to help me practice is I use what I call a metronome. I think most people call this a metronome. What the metronome does is it plays a steady tempo like this. If I get to a part that's a little hard for me to play on my trumpet, my name being Don Trumpet, is I'll slow it down. I'll slow it down pretty slow till it's easy. And I play it enough times so that after I play it this slowly, it becomes easy for me. Then I just press it once, make it a little bit faster, play it a bunch more. And I keep doing that. Play it a bunch more, three or four times, as long as it takes to play it perfectly. It's easy now because it's slow. Then I just make it faster, a little bit every time. If you do this, for about five or ten minutes you can get almost anything because after every minute you make it a little bit faster after you've done this bunch you're getting faster and then you can play pretty much anything if you start slow gradually make it faster if you want to that's what i do don trumpet thanks hi i'm cassidy i play the flute to get good at the flute i practice hard and smart i try to play something that's difficult ten times in a row perfectly i use pennies I put the pennies on the stand, and every time I play it correctly, I move the penny over. If I do it right multiple times, I keep moving pennies until I have all 10 over here. When I mess up, I move the pennies back. That's how I get good at the flute. Hi, hi, I play the trombone. Here's my trombone. What I, what I find helps me practice is I have a stand that I put my trombone on. This is my stand. I put a sock on it to protect the trombone. But what I do is I put my trombone on the stand when I get home and it makes it easy to play. I just, I just pick up the trombone and I can play it immediately when I'm ready to play the trombone. I, I play the trombone and thank you. I, I play the trombone. My name's Sarah. I play the clarinet. It's a good instrument. Practicing, what I do is when I get home from school, I get out my instrument first thing, and I set it up, and I put it somewhere ready to go. And then I go and eat something, and I do other stuff. After I've set up, I go straight in, and since it's already ready, I just start playing it and then I'm able to practice. It's easy to set up your instrument first, and then when you're ready to practice, you just pick it up and you can play. That's how I get good at my clarinet. Uh, my name's Sarah. In regards to practicing, I remember what a wise man once told me. There is no such thing as difficult. There's only easy and too fast. Whee! I'm a bass player. What I do to practice and get better is I focus on things that are difficult for me. I don't focus on things that are easy. I focus on things that are difficult and I slow them down until they are easy. I have friends who when they practice, they play the same thing over and over because they're good at it already. That's not gonna work. Playing what you already know how to play isn't practicing. Practicing is when you get better at things that are difficult. That's how you practice. It just irritates me when people think that they're practicing and they're not. Play things that are hard, slow it down, then speed it up again. So when you're practicing, don't waste time. Don't waste time playing things that you're good at. Play things that you suck at so then you can get better at it. Or else you'll always be mediocre and you'll never be worth anything. Good luck. When I practice, I always plan it out. I pick goals. Maybe today during my 
15 minute practice section. Maybe what I'll do is work on a scale that has been difficult for me. I'll make a goal. Like with this scale, I want to play it really fast. Like really fast. So I'll try to make the goal to be able to play it at quarter note equals 120. And I'll also make long term goals. Like during this month of September, I want to be able to play all 12 major scales in under a minute. I also have plans to play a recital someday soon. So what I need to do is memorize my music. So I'll make a goal by December to have all my music memorized. And if it's not there, then I'll work harder on it and have it ready by January. Making goals is what I do. I think it's one of the best ways to practice. It helps me get better at my instrument. I learned a lot from these individuals and they're a good example about how to practice. I encourage all of you to practice every school day, at least 20 minutes. Thank you again and I'll catch you on the flippity flip. <laughs> <laughs>